the suggestions would have been the HBO face off with Max Kellerman on your word deciding not to partake on it? Is that on counter productive to the pay per view by just because the fans kind of expect it? Okay, that, that's not really accurate. Let me tell you exactly what happened. So, Andre Ward, uh, the, the, the whole purpose of Andre going to Las Vegas initially had to do directly with him appearing on the HBO uh, pay per view broadcast. Canelo and Chavez. The interview that The he interview. Did. We felt it would be a great opportunity for us to get in front of that audience, to get in front of the Latin audience, the Latin community, both live on site, but also more importantly during the HBO broadcast. And so um, we pushed Sergey. We had to actually beg Sergey <laughs> to make himself available to go to Las Vegas, even though oh, yeah. from LA to Las Vegas is a lot closer than San Francisco to it Las is. Vegas. Sure, yeah. And many of you may or may not know that Andre was delayed three hours on the day that he arrived and came right from the airport and got to the fight, that fight that night, at about 7.10, 7.15. Wow. He could have easily said, you know what, I'm gonna stay in the Bay, my flight's uh, delayed for three hours, but he said, you know what, I made an obligation, a commitment to being there, um, to hyping the fight, and to take advan taking advantage of that platform. Mm -hmm. So he actually got there and went. Sergey decided not to show up. <laughs> absolutely decided not to show up. He called us late in the afternoon and apparently called main events and said, you know what, I trained today, I'm a little bit tired, I don't want to make the trip to Las Vegas. So Andre obviously had to pick up the pieces and do it himself. Mm -hmm. Andre did not feel confident because Sergey pulled a no-show on Saturday night mm -hmm. that he would actually be there on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So he made a decision, instead of losing another day of not training, okay, to go back to the Bay. How can you blame him? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. His opponent chose not to come last minute on Saturday night, so again, he didn't feel the confidence that he would actually show up on Sunday, and that's what happened. We agree, that would have been a great, great show and a great opportunity to promote the fight, but again, Sergey posed a no-show Saturday night, we just didn't have the confidence he was actually going to show up on Sunday. Now, one thing that you said before that, that he was there for the audience of Canelo Golovkin, so you guys knew beforehand that that fight was already made? No, 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 no. I didn't say, I said Canelo Chavez. You know right. Canelo Chavez? I said Ch Canelo Chavez. Mm -hmm. oh. He came to the Canelo Chavez fight right. um, on Saturday night, and the reason we wanted him to go to that fight was because of the Latin audience. Oh, yeah, okay. You know, we wanted to... Yeah, we wanted to get in front of that audience, both on TV and during the live gate, during the live event. We felt it would be very valuable to help move the pay-per-view for our fight. Which makes sense, because usually when they do something like that, they usually have both fighters in the interview. Right. And it looked odd. And, and, and listen, think great. about it. That fight did a million homes. Mm -hmm. So that's a million homes. Many of those homes are obviously were, were, you know, within the Latin community that we were able to penetrate through Andre that may say, you know what? I'm interested in buying this fight now on June 17th. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that the main events team is, is spending a lot of time trying to kind of assassinate Andre's character with some of the things that they're doing and saying? Listen, I, I you know I think you know since since we made this fight, you know main events unfortunately has been very negative. You know whether it's main events, whether it's Sergey, um, I, I think it's it's uh, a spillover. Uh, perhaps from the decision back in November. Mm -hmm. But you know what, listen, we don't pay attention to that. You know, we take the high road. You know, Andre's a professional. Rock Nation is a professional organization. We're here to promote a fight. Um, we're here to create great entertainment. Um, and, and we're going to do it the only way we know how to do it, and that's first class. But does that surprise you to see kind of that lack of professionalism coming from another organization? I mean, I've seen them on Twitter saying some very vicious things. I'm not talking about Kovalev. I'm talking about the actual promotional company. Yes. I'll be honest with you. For a company, you know, as Kathy repeatedly says, you know, that she's been in the business for 39 years, I'm a little bit surprised based on her history in the sport um, that, you know, some of the comments that are being made are being made. But at the end of the day, you know, we, we have to try to ignore that. We have to do our job. You know, we're the lead promoter on this fight. Uh, we have a major responsibility um, to do things uh, in a professional way, in a first-class way, and to put on the best event we possibly can. And we think we're there. You know, we've got two weeks until the fight. Um, I think the momentum is building. The hype is building. As I said, Andre has been absolutely unbelievable in terms of getting out there and promoting the fight and talking about the fight. Uh, today will be another great day in front of all of you. 
Um, we've got you know some great interviews scheduled for the next two weeks. So we're doing everything we possibly can to not only drive the live gate in Las Vegas, but also to make sure that we improve upon the pay-per-view numbers from the last fight. How, um, how hard was this fight to make this rematch? Because some of the fans act as if it was a long time ago that they rematched, but they, in actuality, they just fought in November, and we got the fight announced a couple of months back. Listen, I think, relatively speaking, it wasn't that long. I mean, to your point, I mean, think about it. This will be the second time that they fight within seven months. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about, well, there was a delay, and, and, and we, we Rock Nation or Andre Ward were not responsive. Listen, there, there's a process to everything in life, right? And when you're making a fight of this magnitude, there's a process that you have to go through. But, but again, think about it. Two major fights within seven months, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. that's, that's pretty good.